Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. This is the very first post in the database fundamental series. Um, it's the first one, there's going to be more. We're going to start off with the basics. SQL Server installs. If you look in the links down below the video, there are uh, a series of links to various places to um, document how to do a SQL Server install. I'm not actually going to do a demonstration of an installation here. I just want to get you started through the links because there are so many different ways. Now, what we do want to talk about, though, is alternatives to installing SQL Server. Now, first up, the easiest way to do it is to have your laptop, your server, your hardware that you have locally, and install SQL Server on that. I don't recommend that approach. I recommend first setting up a virtual server. Um, this does several things. One, almost everybody's using virtual servers for almost everything, so you might as well learn how to manage that stuff right out of the gate. Two, it allows you to have a place where you can screw up all kinds of stuff horribly without hurting your fundamental hardware, without hurting your fundamental laptop. If you mess up the operating system during some sort of thing that you're doing as you're testing and learning, you can just drop that virtual machine and start again. Um, you can even snapshot that virtual machine and roll it back. It's so much better than working directly on your own local hardware. So that's one option, right? Set up a virtual machine. Option number two, host a virtual machine in the cloud. Um, if you already have access to Microsoft's um, um, tools, uh, the MSDN tool belt, um, then you know if you've got an MSDN license, you have access to Azure. And on Azure, you could get a Microsoft development version of SQL Server. That would be a great way to go. You have a virtual machine, and off you go. You can work on that and start from there. Another thing on Azure would be to use Azure SQL Database. This is fundamentally SQL Server, so a lot of what we're going to do throughout this series, create tables, um, learn how to run a select, learn how to run an insert, you know, all these various things, all of that will be doable through the Azure SQL Database. What won't be doable is some of the things like create database because you can't determine file placement and all this other stuff. You can just create databases in Azure. So it, it limits you in some areas. It doesn't limit you in others, but it's another option. Um, most importantly, before we go, the development version of SQL Server includes every possible aspect, SSIS, SSAS, all of these various things, and the development version of SQL Server, SQL Server 2016, SQL Server 2017, uh, is free. Go and get that. It is in the link. You can download it yourself and install it, and that's the one I want you to use. Finally, you're also going to need to install Management Studio. I would recommend you use Management Studio 17. Um, it is a little slower to load than the older versions of Management Studio, but it has a whole bunch of new tooling, and everything I'm going to demo and all the work I'm going to do to walk you through these fundamental videos uh, is going to be on Management Studio 17. Now, that is also in the links down below. So follow all those links down below. You'll see the documentation on how to do the installs. You'll see how to get Management Studio uh, 17, and you'll see how to get SQL Server uh, 2017 Development Edition. All of that information, all right down there in the links, just to get you started. Right. Thank you very much. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.